1926, National Geographic published an article by Maynard Owen Williams which showed a picture of a small fishing village, Gdynia. The caption was, where Poland dreams to build her New York. Look at the city now, less than a hundred years later. The desire by Polish cities to play in the Premier League of European cities has always been strong, and this desire is fast becoming a reality, driven by their incredible development today. There has been a renaissance of city life in Poland arguably without parallel anywhere else in the world, a rebirth which has brought businesses, visitors and students from around the globe. As a capital city, Warsaw has naturally been Poland's number one location on the international radar in attracting talent and investment. You know, Warsaw is always targeted as the capital. Everybody wants to be in, in Warsaw. And obviously, investment started here in the early 90s and boomed. And as, as Poland grew, there was more and more uh, interest in the regional cities. You know, we were one of the first to go into regional cities with retail with Europa Capital many, many years ago. And as you've seen, it's continued to, to boom and just grow, and not only in retail, but also in, in offices. And you look at Krakow, Rostov, Poznań, and obviously Gdansk, they've all become you know, hubs for, for international tenants and international investment. Łódź, the third largest city in Poland, is at the beginning of the largest urban regeneration project in its history. Master Management Group, or MMG, an investor, developer, leasing agent and asset manager of retail and office property located throughout Poland sees a potential in the city's revitalization. Wuj again, is an up-and-coming city. I, I think we've heard a lot about Wuj in the press, you know, as of late. There's been some nice buildings delivered, but more importantly, the city went out of their way to put in a huge infrastructure plan to recreate the city. And they've done a marvelous job of it, and they're continuing to do so. MMG's High Piotrkowska 155 scheme is a mixed-use project in the city center which combines retail and office functions with a Hamptons by Hilton hotel. The complex is located in the very center of Łódź, in a plot adjacent to the main thoroughfares of Piotrkowska, Mickiewicza and Kosciuszki Street. For the first time since 1989, private capital is working hand-in-hand -hand with city authorities to renovate the entire city center. Commercial developers believe in Łódź, says Mayor Hanna Stanowska, because they see that we consistently implement our growth strategy to make Łódź a beautiful city and a great place to live in. Projects by major developers such as Galamco, Skanska, HB Revis and Echo Investment are testament to the potential they see in the city. Obviously Warsaw is still, you know, prime prime, but there's more and more initiative to go into the secondary cities. In Warsaw it's uh, 5.4 million square meters, uh, but there are also uh, what we call tier 2 cities that count for a, a very similar amount. Cities that are already recognized by, by investors and attracting a lot of those, uh, such as Poznań, Łódź, Katowice agglomeration, but also uh, Tri-City. Quality of life is one of the factors that is driving new opportunities for Gdynia, a city on the northern coast of Poland where surveys show that over 90% of its citizens are happy about the quality of life, the highest score in Poland. In 2019, the Financial Times FDI magazine awarded Gdynia the title of Polish City of the Future in the medium-sized cities category for the third time in a row. And they also won in two other categories, economic potential and business-friendly city. The new developments in Gdynia are a reflection of the city's ambitions. There are a lot of new investments. One of the most important is one called C-City. The scale is comparable to the scale of the very beginning of Gdynia. Nowadays we have quite a big pier, a beautiful uh, coast located in the very heart uh, of the city, intended both for life and walk, uh, and of course not a kind of a deserted village. Gdynia hasn't forgotten its roots, investing in the infrastructure of its port, which covers an area of 240 hectares. The planned new terminal will almost double its size, enabling it to handle the largest passenger and container ships in the world, firmly stepping out of the shadow of its sister port in Gdansk, Poland's centuries-old trading city. The Gdansk shipyards are inextricably associated with the Solidarity Movement. The experience of August 1980 is part of the city's DNA, and gives it a civic energy which continues to the present day. 
But the city is also looking towards its future and is strengthening its position in the race for global talent. What is the most important for me, what I really deeply feel in my heart, and this is something what people of Gdansk accepted the vision. Gdansk as a city of solidarity, city which is open for the, every single person, and a city which is uh, on a constant way of development. Enhancing the city's work-life balance, Nautilus Gdansk will be a scheme thoroughly dedicated to free time and leisure. The concept, designed by PFI Future, won an international competition for the development of the area next to the Gdansk Energe Stadium. The complex includes a number of features, notably a large aquarium, a 5D plus cave of science, exotic lagoon, shopping and gastronomic areas, a medical center, and a new hotel, Secret Continental. Tourism is also a driver for Sopot, the town located between Gdansk and Gdynia, known for its health spa character. Sopot is focusing on the development of a hotel and leisure services and has ambitions to become a top event destination. Jacek Karnowski, the mayor of Sopot, often cites Cannes as its benchmark. Sopot is unique. It was the best place uh, for sport, culture, business and leisure events. We are ready and open for the new investment and new hotel. With the hotel market booming in Poland, Sopot is attracting investments with attractive locations for this type of investment. Gdansk, Gdynia and Sopot have each found their way to stand out from the crowd. Standing out from the crowd is something that Poznan has been excelling at for many years. A city of over half a million, it's located in the western part of Poland and has a diverse economy with a strong focus on the business services sector and technological production. More than 110,000 students and 30,000 graduates annually make Poznan an academic city with a large talent pool. The city is also growing as a European hub for IT, ranking 8th in the Growth Clusters category in a European ranking of technological cities published by CBRE, making it one of the most technologically advanced cities in Europe. Poznan has seen a 64% increase in the number of employees in this sector over the last 10 years. Poznan, Gdynia, Gdansk, Katowice, Krakow, Wrocław and Warsaw. Poland, in contrast to other CE countries, is not dominated by one single city. The country's network of large urban centers is acknowledged as one of the best socio-economic spaces in Europe. And besides these cities, there are many others which are increasingly being recognized as business destinations. Cities such as Bydgoszcz, the eighth largest city in Poland, which is changing its image from an industrial hub to a center of modern technologies and services. The city is now at the top of a list of services and personnel in the automotive, telecom R&D, digitalization and Internet of Things. Poland has been seen as, a, as the same as a Western European country, I think. It's very stable. Investors are very happy to come here. There's a lot of new investors that we're speaking to coming to do their first deals in Poland even now, looking for JV development. So it's changed dramatically from buying uh, completed income producing building where you have newcomers ready to take development risk even in secondary cities. So I think we've, you know, Poland has really grown and advanced and seen on the global market as a, as a great place to be. Polish cities have been the backbone of the country's economic transformation in the last three decades and will drive Poland's economy into the future.